Good morning, all you beautiful girls out there. And all girls are beautiful by nature. Absolutely. Well, I uh, put forward, you know, my opinion of the top 10, or a, a top 10 male vocalist. Uh, and um, so you beautiful girls can uh, research them, locate them. And uh, their videos, their, their singing, and maybe the lyrics, and uh, sing along with them. And smile in a song each day. Uh, one Ezio Pinza in South Pacific. And he sings Some Enchanted Evening. And Mario Lanza. Uh, he... Uh, played Caruso. I think maybe he sang those songs better than Caruso did himself. It may have been the modern equipment where you can get better recordings, and especially with a tenor with their high voice and the high scratchiness of those recordings. And Mario Alonso, without a song. And third, Andre Bocelli, and in concert. Now, I'm not going to have two of them sing the same song. So, I have him, he sang Ave Maria. Well, now, in a girl, the vocalist, well, you get many of them that are good, especially in the opera. But Deanna Durbin plays a nun and is in church and sings Ave Maria as good as I think it can be sung, and the pressure to sing it this as good as it could be sung. And fourth, now I have Nelson Eddy. And, uh, you know, they forget maybe about Stephen Foster. He wrote great songs and great tunes. They're melodious and uh, everybody in the country sang them. And one of them that has a great tune and words is Beautiful Dreamer. And fifth, I have Perry Como, Silent Night. You say, well, it's not Christmas time. Well, you don't only have the Christmas spirit and cheer on December 25th. And in South America, oh, did I say South America? In South America, uh, well, they're, yeah, they lift a drink, and wine is part of dinner. And it's true that way. There, there, there's a, uh, all countries have a siesta or a tea, except I think the United States. We got so busy, we got to make money. Things are so expensive, we, yet we've got to make money and make those payments. So they have the uh, siesta. Well, back years ago, they didn't have air conditioning. you know. So you worked in the morning, and then during the warmest part of the day, you took, you had, uh, you, you took a siesta, and then you worked towards the early evening. Then they have dinner later at night. And um, then they have a lot of them play the, uh, the guitar and, uh, you know, great. Uh, Latin music. Uh, there was like, well, uh, and and if you're there, December twenty fifth, you plan a picnic at the beach because it's their practically their warmest time of the year. So, uh, if you're from South America and then you're up here, and it's around June twenty fifth. Uh, it was such a warm day, it reminds you of Christmas because that's about the warmest day when you went on a picnic to the beach. Um, and sixth, I have Gordon McRae. And I, I always thought it was Gordon McRae. And you have to have the correct spelling in order to be able to locate the, the male vocalist, uh, his videos, his songs, and uh, maybe the lyrics, and then you can sing with them. Yeah, Gordon 
Mac Reyes capital M A C capital R A E. And uh, a critic said he thinks he has the best baritone voice. Well, uh, yours truly. I uh, practice trying to sing the low, low, low notes. I prefer to sing or certainly try to hit the low, low, low notes. So that was uh, of interest uh, that uh, uh, somebody, it's a music critic, said he has the best baritone voice. Well, I have him, uh, he's uh, singing um, Desert Song. And, um, or it's the love song. And somebody used the, the title is maybe a title of a picture, but then it's maybe not exactly the same title when they have a video or if in the translation they give it another title. It's that way with uh, You Belong to My Heart. Uh, that's also sung by Ezio Penza. And uh, they give it another title in Espanol or in Castellano. Same spelling as my last name. So it was of interest to me when they would say, here in Argentina, we don't speak Spanish. We speak Castellano. Well, gusta que es tu tabla mi lengua. I like this place. Everybody speaks my language. No. Uh... Seventh, I have Frank Sinatra. Now we're getting to maybe a little more towards recent, you know, or Frank Sinatra, the crooner. And um, I have him singing, Old Man River, that old man river. Because in the top 50 vocalists, male and female, uh, he sang Old Man River, and he combined some of the notes and hit some of those low notes. And now others start copying that and incorporating it. Let's see if I can hit those, combine and hit those low notes. Old Man River, that old man river he don't say nothing but he must know something he just keeps whirling he keeps on whirling along now he combines some notes in the song you and me, we sweat and strain, bodies all legging and whack with pain. Tote that barge, lift that bail, you gets a little drunk and you lands in jail. I get weary. If I pause, I can really hit that combination like he did, and then others copy that. You gets a little drunk and you lands in jail. It's weary. How do you do, do? Something like that. No, I, I'm not a crooner, <laughs> not a singer, or even a crooner, and I'm not a musician. Uh, the only thing I can do is imitate the bass fiddle. Especially hitting the dum 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 low notes. Uh, now, uh, my brother had a great voice. And uh, he could play the piano. A real good singer. Yeah, great voice. 
Now, uh, so after Frank E. Sinatra, I have eight is, um, man, Oh, Enrico Caruso. I, uh, I was trying to go forward from Frank Sinatra to maybe towards a modern singer, but Enrico Caruso. And uh, he, of course, set the standard. And they re-digitalized, they re-digitalized uh, him singing Core Ingrato. Now, the translation is negative, and I don't like negative, uh, nothing, any disappointing any time. That reminds me of Jody Marshall. Now, I studied baseball, baseball players this, through a scientific viewpoint, um, how to baseball as a player manager, etc. And um, Jody Maggio, in my opinion, was the best baseball player. He wasn't aggressive as Ty Cobb. He wasn't as more home runs and dramatic as Babe Ruth. And uh, he didn't have the great speed, we'll say, like I had speed of a leadoff ba uh, base dealer. Like, well, uh, right now it's um, um, somebody of the Yankees plays left field. I try to remember what somebody does. I don't remember names. I try to remember what they do. And uh, he has, I think, led the American League in the last few years. And um, uh, then he did everything the best. Uh, now, he was offered a lot of of being an announcer, announced the games and commentary, you know, and he wouldn't do it, no. And uh, they said, well, Joe, now, that way, you know, we're giving you big money. Um, oh, he did Mr. Coffee, but that was taped. And uh, they said, well, Joe, come on, what's the real reason? Because we're offering you big money. He said, look, I played the best I could every game. Played every game I, po I possibly could and played the best I could in every game. And I, after I came back from the service in World War II, I did the same thing. I played every game I could the best I could. But, but you know, a few years of injuries, as soon as I made a mistake, a little mistake, those that are nerds or somebody says if they can knock the best and hey they must be maybe pretty good look they're knocking the best or professional jealousy he says so i looked at it and i said hey all right i am a baseball player and i play it the best but as far as then you trying to degrade or knock me there's an expression in Italian that I can't put on the internet of what he said about them. No. Um, we have then where we get from 8th to ninth and 10th. Well, ninth I have the three tenors. Now, there's three tenors, so you, maybe you could have three songs. But no, I have the three tenors, and um, I'm going to try to progress. If I skip anything, that's to get this completed, of course, and get to uh, what maybe is the best of the best is the three tenors. When they belt a song, when they harmonize and sing a song, it's terrific. And... Ninth, I have them singing Granada. And if I make a mistake, it's because maybe I'm thinking ahead as to what to present. And like I said, the Latin music, and uh, there's uh, 
Xavier Cougart and his great band of music. And uh, it's, uh, Granada is sung by the three tenors. Tenth is the three tenors. Singing now has become the, like you, you have it in a joke, you have the punchline. And in a song, you belt, the, the, if it's a medley, the third song. Uh, with me, that would be Nessun Dorma. And that's what they have now, their signature song. And uh, again, the, the words are of traditional, like opera of sword fighting and uh, uh, dust and uh, you know, all that drama they have to have in the, in the opera. But the, the song and hitting that, the notes and then that final note is a real challenge. And uh, when I uh, want to see what I can do singing, I take a little garlic, which I just did because this is about the fourth time I've tried this. I have a, a not a cold, but uh, I, I'm not hitting the notes. And if you... The great Robert Merrill. I always thought it was Merrill because of so many of my paisanos, you know, but I think it was uh, Merrill Stein or Merrill Stein. Anyway, he was uh, of the Metropolitan Opera. He's great. A uh, real great man. And they said, well, you know, his coach uh, said, take a little garlic. That's what we do in Italy. And it keeps you from getting a cold or if you want to make sure that your voice doesn't uh, like get a cold when you're singing because uh, it's winter up there and the stages are large and you and you know he he says try that little garlic and he says and that's what i did is he said, well that you never miss a performance he says yeah well he said but it was heck because the prima donnas are so fussy that one of them Right after the last number, one up to say she wouldn't come back. And I had to use a little more garlic. Then. And so I told her, look, you keep complaining to me that you want to be seen more. All right, I'm the, the lead singer, but I'll tell you what. I'll tr turn the least I can towards you. But as soon as I turn towards you, you face the audience. So you get more of what you want the audience to see you. So then she came back on stage. Now, uh... Uh, like Jody Marjo said, I, uh, if I'm presenting something uh, in science, no mistakes. When I have that completed, there's no mistakes, no side notes, footnotes. It's presented, this is my opinion, and I have yet to have somebody, if I'm putting it on the board to say there's something incorrect doc because I have doc C PhD company um, that was my main interest until now theology where I uh, as I say raise the state of the discipline of theology and uh, present uh, my expertise in the discipline of theology now in uh, Nessun Dorma, uh, I sing that in a, me in a medley, three songs. I sing it as the third song, the signature song, and I try to hit that last notes. That vincero, vincero. Something like that. They hit it three times. Now, uh, what I suggest is that you uh, Google these or Bing. You Google these great male vocalists. And then... Uh, there's a rumor that somewhere you might get 
uh, video. They're a quartet. Jimmy Durante would say, everybody's trying to get into the act. Um, no, I, this is a challenge. I try to um, see if I can harmonize with them. If I don't, I, I'm just, you know, uh, it's, it's a way of saying uh, I enjoy humor, smile, and have a song each day. So to all you beautiful girls out there, that's my suggestion. And take care of yourself, practice safety, and of course have fun.